Okay. So it has been a long month in quarantine. I'm pretty sure it's been a month. But we have still time to go. And I've noticed that people, because I just finished school, like, a little bit of time ago so i haven't really had that much time without anything to do so now that i don't have anything to do or nothing really urgent um i've noticed that me alongside everybody else i see we're all just bored and we don't really have things to do so here's a quick list i made of things that you can do during quarantine to stay productive also to come out of quarantine better than you were when you came in Okay, so number one, clean your house. So all the places that you never cleaned before, clean them. All the places that you have been lacking on because of you've been so busy before quarantine, clean them. Go through a deep clean, declutter. I'm gonna be making a minimalism video soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, clean out your house. So declutter everything. You wanna be going into the new season with a clean space, clean mind. So as soon as this whole quarantine is done, you're coming out stronger, you're coming out cleaner, fresher, your mind is clear, all that kind of stuff. It's a 100% fact that when you have your cleaner space, you have a cleaner mind. Get rid of all the clutter, go through it all. This is your time that you have so much time on your hands, you can take everything out of the drawers, declutter everything. So that is my number one. Number two is cook. Cook for yourself, cook healthy meals, cook new meals that you've never tried before. So I know for me, I just two weeks ago tried making vegan cannelloni. It actually came out really good. And yeah, so I just tried that because we don't really have much to do. Even though it's more of a tedious task, like cook meals that are more tedious. So if you want to make fresh homemade ravioli, I know my friend just made that literally like the other day. And trying to make the food healthy. So you're making homemade food. Usually we get fast food because we're in a rush. We're going to work, we're going to school, whatever we're doing. And you want food, like you just want to drive by a little place, pick up food and that's it. But now that we're home or we're supposed to be home, we should be making homemade food. So try to make your own meals and meal prep for the week or something. Uh, make a bunch of leftovers, have food at home, make your own snacks, make like energy bars, like random things that you can actually eat at home that are homemade. You know the ingredients in them and they're healthy and yeah. Number three is develop a new skill. So learning a language, my background is Italian. So I am trying to learn Italian right now on this app, Duolingo. I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying, I just, I just use the free app, like the free version. And I'm sure there's other apps or other places you can find things or whatever, other, other resources to learn a language, but that's just what I'm using. So that is the new skill I'm trying to develop. I'm not aiming to be completely fluent. I'm just aiming to like understand maybe like family members or something. New skills could range from so many different things. So it could be learning how to use maybe a software program that could help you in the future or help you with your job or just studying a subject that you need to learn more about for school or anything that's random like that. Pretty much anything, any new skill that interests you, try to learn that. Okay, so number four is self-care. So before when you were busy, you would just wash your face, go to bed. You would, I don't know, do the most quick, quick, the quick version of all your routines. Now you have the time to do your full routines, fully take care of yourself, head to toe, exfoliate your body, everything you can do. Do all your self-care routines, your, your tea, your journaling. You have time now, care for yourself. Okay, so number five is watch a new show. So I'm starting Lost, I'm really, really late on the journey of watching Lost, but now I'm watching it now. And my whole family has watched it and I always used to hear them talk about it. All my friends have watched it. So I finally started. It's like five, six seasons and it's actually such a great show. So when you get hooked on the show, you're kind of invested into that. Instead of thinking about like quarantine and coronavirus, you're thinking about the show's plot. So it's kind of distracting you in a way from like all the like issues of the world. It's not like you need to be distracted from them, but it's definitely hard to be thinking about the coronavirus every single day, every single second. That doesn't help you, it just stresses you out. So introduce a new topic to take up your mind space. Number six is read a book or read many books. I'm not the best at reading. 
I get distracted easily or it takes me like a while to finish a book. But currently I am reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is like a really old classic. And I suggest honestly everyone read this, and especially if you're young and you're just developing in the financial world and you're trying to grow yourself and develop yourself. Always read like self-help books. I love self-development and self-help books. So yeah, come out of quarantine with better knowledge, better self-awareness and an actual plan. Knowledge is power, so always try to expand your knowledge. That's what I always recommend. Number seven is looking for sources of income that you can have kind of as a side hustle. So during quarantine and after quarantine. So if you're starting something online, that's like a pandemic proof income source or side hustle that can help you now and even later after the the pandemic is over. And there's and there's tons of videos online of like ways to make money while the in quarantine or ways to make money at home and stuff like that or ways to make money online, stuff like that just stack up on knowledge, stack up on ideas, and then actually use them to your advantage and make some money. Okay, so number eight is life planning. So a lot of times when we're in our busy lives, we're not really like taking a step back and looking at where's our life going? What are we planning? What's our short-term goals? What are our long-term goals? So it's good now that we have the time to like take a notebook and write down all of our life plans, our goals, and just like what we want to accomplish for this year, what do we want to accomplish next year, what do we want to accomplish in the next 10 years, and where do we want to be. So it's really, really nice to kind of put that all on paper and just see it for yourself and see like, are you where you want to be right now? And are you doing enough? And lastly, number nine, we have do all the tasks that you said that you couldn't get around to before. So now that you have this time, what was all the tasks that you couldn't do before that you need to do now? So this kind of encompasses everything that we already talked about. So clean the house, cooking homemade meals, meal prepping, um, developing that new skill, going through organizing like your computer, decluttering, anything that you could do, decorating, painting your room. Now you have the time to actually do all those things that you couldn't do before. So that's it for my tips. Um, this was a really, really short video. I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe and like this video. It really helps. And thank you guys for watching.